Hello and welcome to my course on Milwaukee Battery Repair. I've been repairing these for a couple of years and I'm going to show you some of the diagnostic and repair techniques I picked up along the way. So if you have a few faulty batteries or just want the greater knowledge of battery technology, specifically Milwaukee in this case, this course is for you. Episode 9, Restoring Balance to Your Battery Pack. Uh, in the last episode, we established that this pack is suffering from cell imbalance. I'll just do a quick recap. Just so you know. So this bank of cells at the front here is 3.16. Another four or 4.10, 4.11. So this front bank of cells out of the five is almost a volt lower than the rest. And as a result, this stops the tool from working on it because these are signaling the board this too low won't function through the drill. There's something the board tells the drill not to work because it's 3.17. If I put this in the charger, these four banks are 4.11, which are maximum charge for these cells. And that tells the charger to not charge it anymore. And it stops charging. So that's what cell imbalance causes. And now I'm going to tell you what you do to remedy it. The simple solution is to bring this bank of cells at the front up level with the rest and we do that by charging them individually. You can pop the cells out and use the VCA plus X star charger to charge the cells individually. That is more work than we want to do. You can do that but there is another way and I'm going to show you what it is. Using this Lipro B6 balance charger is the way to go i feel i have used the x-star took wires from the x-star to the one and charged these two cells that can work as well if you don't have one of these but i recommend if you're about to repair you should get one of these you should own one of these i'll have to put a link in the description for that and it's all in how you set it really um uh what do we see you can set damps if you're Charging nothing main go to lipo charge, that's that's we that's where you're at. But we'll go a bit smaller in amps, that's six amps is about high, so we'll go down to maybe two. We'll not go bonkers. And then we'll go to um since we're charging one bank of cells, we have to go down to one S. If you're charging one S is one bank of cells, Two S is two banks of cells, three S is three banks of cells, four S is four banks of cells, and five S is five banks of cells. And those are your options, you know. So that's what we're up to. We'll see if we can charge this bank of cells. And you've got to get the polarity right, because this is the positive side. You look at them cells, positive, negative, positive, negative. So this is the positive side for this bank of cells. And we have to put the red wire onto this side somehow we we'll see the red wire then reach for the black so you put that on there and you put this on here and hopefully we get a good enough connection there you see what i've done there so that bank is isolated from the rest i'm not charging any rest just this one and then i hit the button on the b6 I'll just show you what I'm doing. That's checking the connection, and there's one series, of one series, one bank we're charging, and away we go. And you should charge that fairly quickly because you know this charger's ample to charge a lot more than what we're doing with it at the minute. I see it coming up to 3.45 volts there. We need to give it some time 
to come up to maybe 4. Point, it'll probably come to 4.2 because that's the voltage it'll be putting in. So we could leave that some time. I'm going to just stop the video and we'll uh, we'll come back to this. To be honest, it was taking a long time, so I switched the ampage up on this. I still didn't switch the amps up again. And we're coming up well in the voltage. Show you what we're at now. 4.09, so we're well. Let's see if you want to see that. About 4.10, so we're coming very, very near. <clears throat> I don't know if I explained well enough what I was doing here. I was set the lipo on 1S, but if you were charging these two banks of cells alongside each other together, you'd be switching this black one over to here, to the negative side. So you can charge anywhere from one bank to five banks, like I say. And I might just show you what way you set that up once we have this finished. But we're getting there. So here we are now. I'm just going to set the meter where you can see it. And I'm just going to test that bank of cells. It's showing 4.12, so that's roughly in around where we were with the other ones. I'm going to disconnect this now, stop it. And uh, see if that the actual battery is holding the holding the charge in that banks in that particular bank because you can get um you can get these cells dropping off again the voltage dropping after you charge them so it's gone down to four Four point oh three. There's a wee drop there, but it's not too significant. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of imbalance, but I'm gonna put it together and throw it into the charger to see if it's if we've done enough. Let's put the top on it. I don't need to put the screws on it for now. It's just showing fully charged like it did, which probably is to be expected. And we've got the full bars. So that's how you get your battery balanced again. And more information than this, because I don't think I really explained how you really use this. There's settings in this. You go through the settings. You go stop. You go program select, and then that's where you, that's your screen when you switch this on. And then you can go from lipo balance charge, discharge. You can also charge an ICAT. You can hang up to six amps, but you have to set it for an ICAT. But we're only using lipo at this time. You keep. Pressing that function there, that start button, enter, you change the function. If you're charging the whole battery, that's 5S. If you're charging four of the banks, that's 4S. If you're charging three, that's 3S, but they'd have to be side by side, you know, all these banks of cells. It's more likely to be two to be out of whack beside other, but mostly. You'll get one that's old. You'll be down to one S, you know. Like we were a while ago. One S. Two S, three S, four S, five S, whatever. So that's that's the Light Pro Balance Charger. I'm gonna put a link in the description and I'll show you where you can buy this. But that battery is back to its former glory. So that's episode 9, dealing with cell imbalance, and if I get another battery with a different fault, I'll show you a different video, but that's it for now, thanks for watching the, watching the video and following this course, and have a great day.